So at the end of the last episode, we knew we had to go and play some serious money ball in pre-season. Here we go! <laughs> Good morning, afternoon, evening everyone. How's it going? Welcome back to Cam on Cara. This is episode three and now we're in season number three. Now the money ball, the money ball that we talked about to up the standard of this squad, it's worked. There you see it. We are 14 games in and we're sitting in third. This is a world away from where we finished last time on 12, scratching and scratching, clawing for points. This time we look like a threat. We look like a threat. Good in defense, really good up front. Things are moving in the right direction. There's the season so far, just a few defeats sprinkled in here and there. Tarsus, who are one of the best teams in the league. Pfeffer Sport, Van Sport, Saka Sport. All these teams are up there. I'm not, not panicking because look at all the other results. There's some nice wins there. And last season when we were doing wins, they were scratching 2-1s, 1-0s. Now, we're starting to pump teams 3-0. Some free goals coming in there. And it's all down to money ball, like I mentioned in the intro. <laughs> So, Moneyball, last season we realised we were way off the pace. If you look at the clip in the top corner there, that's a clip from Kamon Kara episode 2. And that particular bunch of stats there is for my defenders and their physical attributes compared to the rest of the league. You see, it's pretty low. Look at all how low they are. Now, above my head there, you'll see this season after a lot of graft in pre-season. And the biggest one, we're still lacking a bit in the first two there, acceleration and agility. I'm not too concerned about that. The next one across, our average goes up to 8.64, so we're above average there, whereas on the preseason, last time we were below average. Now the big jump here, the big jump here is your fourth call on the cross. If you check that out, that is jumping reach. That is here. And we've gone from the lowest in the league in last season, where we were conceding an absolute truckload of goals and corners, and we're now just below average. We've zonked that right up. All the others are also higher than they were last season. And we're actually, the big one I, I was aiming for was strength. And we are on the corner there. And we are now above average on strength. Touching the best in the league. Big strides. But without doubt, the biggest area of concern was the physical prowess of my midfield. We were getting bullied, battered all over the place. Up in the top corner there, you can see last season's physical figures. And they are pretty dismal indeed. Teams were rubbing their hands together at the thought of us coming to visit. They were just going to bully us all over the pitch. Now, if I go up to here, take defenders off and put midfielders on, you can see the massive, massive difference in physical attributes that we managed to make with a lot of grafting off season. Again, acceleration and agility are pretty low. What I'm finding at this level is it's really hard to find that type of player. But then we move across. You can see balance. We are now way above average there. And the next one is huge, again, jumping reach, again, helping us on those corners and crossing in our defensive work. Again, next up here, we've got overall fitness, so physical fitness, we're now a really fit team, well as in the top corner there, we were the lowest in the league. And strength-wise, over here in the far corner, way up there, we've managed to get it right up. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna spend the whole episode on this, but I think this is huge, especially for teams that are really struggling. Delving into these reports, I have found, and it's proven in the results on the pitch, is absolutely key. Now the last one I'm going to touch on, in that top corner there you can see was the mentals. And I thought they were okay for my midfield. They're okay, as you can see in the top corner there, they're quite decent in comparison to the rest of the league. Again, money ball all over the place on the preseason for this season. Check it out, we'll just flip it over to midfield. Bang! Check that out. We are now way up there. We're the best in the league when it comes to aggression, when it comes to concentration, positioning, and teamwork. I wanted a bunch of grafters in that midfield, and I've got it. We're touching the top on work rate. We're touching the top on bravery, determination, leadership. I've got a right bunch of leaders. I completely flipped, flipped the flaky, flaky midfield from last season. Now we are ballers. You can see it there in a bit more detail. That is... Some serious work going on in pre-season. I told the boys in my Patreon, Patron Discord that that was the longest I've ever spent on a pre-season. And it's been worthwhile. We've got results like that compared to last season where we were really struggling. But now we're the best in the league on a lot of, the, on a lot of categories. And it's helped us go from a really poor, mediocre team to one of the better teams in the league now. 
So this season's tactic, I went kind of basic. I went with a 4-3-3. Three, three. I wanted to be super solid in the midfield and let the front three do their thing. And that's what has happened. We've got a completely new back four. The only one remaining guy is Abdullah. And he's in rotation anyway. We've also got a new keeper. You can probably see the glow up here on the keeper. Look at his stats. There's a lot of quality stats you need for a keeper there, such as your aerial reach, your concentration, one-on-ones positioning. He's a level up. He's done a good job. He's only conceded 12 with seven clean sheets. Happy. Now, I talked about that jumping reach. Brought this fella in, Hakan Saivek, 34 years old. You can see jumping reach 13. He's a tall fella. Other things, his mentals are there. Bravery, concentration, leadership, positioning. These are things that I was sorely, sorely lacking. And next to him, we've got a bit of a curveball, Umar Gumos. He's only valued at £650. This sums money ball up to his extreme. None of my scouts wanted him, we questioned him. They think he's a fullback. I've got him as a centre back. Yes, his marking's not great, but he's 189 centimetres and his jumping reach is 15. It's 15. Last season, I was playing with guys with six and seven. They couldn't get their ass off the ground. God knows why. Maybe they were playing with rucksacks on with weights in. But this guy has done the job. He's, he's aggressive, he's decent in positioning, and he's got quality leadership all together. Putting him all together, he's got himself an average rate now of 7.18. Let's have a little look. There you go, 7.18 last season. He, was, he wasn't even a regular for these other boys. So he's the epitome of Moneyball. Just like this man up front, Muhammad Akpina. Granted, he's gone down a bit. He's had a pure week of training, but that's fine. But everything else, just floating over to his physicals, check it out, accelerate, all double figures right across the board. That's what you're looking for. Absolutely love that. Finishing decent. Composure, not a disaster. Work rate, teamwork. This is key in this team. We are a right bunch of grafters. He's repaired us. With 13 and 14. Don't worry, crew. The legend, the nine foot, six foot machine, Sihan Aydin, is still in the house and he's still doing his thing. Three goals in 14 games. So that's the way we've been playing it. You can see down the side there on team instructions, there's not a lot of team instructions going on there. We've kept it pretty basic in possession, short passing, play for set pieces. Simple as that. In transition, we're counter pressing, we're not counter attacking. So try to win the ball back high. If we don't, we get back into shape and slowly build. High line of engagement, and we've got, as I click on it here, a standard defensive line because I don't want to play too high up because I'm not blessed with a shitload of pace. So this is the money ball episode, and this is the last thing I want to touch on about why it's been successful about the scouting. Now last season, I talked about how many goals from crosses and corners. It was tragic. I just want to bring your attention to goals conceded from corners. Let's bring that up. So you've got this section here. If you have team stats section, it's a great way to review how your team's doing. There it is, conceded from corners, bosh. Joint second, top, zero, conceded. Now the other big one was, do you remember how many penalties we were conceding? Guys who watched the first Twitch stream of it, it was unbelievable, I think it was a penalty every match. Now, what that comes down to is the decisions that your players are making, are they in position, making last ditch tackles, are all over the place. Thankfully, we've upgraded our players' mentals. This has been the result, let's find it on here. Again, we go to this section, penalties conceded, bang, there you go, the only team in the league that hasn't conceded a penalty yet. Okay, we're hoping to bounce back after a really poor performance in the last game where we lost 3-1 to second place Ezeka Spore. So those in Saka Spore, I know I'm butchering these by the way, I'm trying my best, but we need to bounce back. A up Spore, A up Spore, I'm alright with that one. This is the game we bounce back. So going with that team, I do have another one that I'm experimenting with, which is that one, where we lose the right-hand side inverted winger, pump it into a striker. But for now, we'll go with this unless we need goals. It's 2D, it's like the way I like to go at the minute. Eight was spot on the attack. We've had a couple of shots, both on target, nothing coming. Cross comes in, I'm wide. Keeping it 2D, I'm just still not sure on the formation, so it's just helping me see how they're playing. Okay, we've got Hakan back to keeper Uma. Playing wide, it looks nice. Murat, short passing, remember, a little ball up towards Muhammad, who is a good target, man, if he needs to be. But they win it back, Umar wins it back. There's that jumping reach from Umar. My fullback is on attack, there he is, number 14, into Saihan, whips it across, back to the fullback on attack. <sighs> Promising start. A lot of games this season, absolutely dominating possession, 63% there. Corner ball, a party takes. Penalty, is it been, it's a shove, it's a penalty, get in. So we're getting plenty of penalties, we're just not 
conceded me. Murat Ceylan hasn't missed one yet. Bangs it in. Off we roll. Come on, boys. Half time. Good deserved lead, that. We've restricted them really well. Let's have a look at the data. You can see they're sitting really deep. They're sitting deep. If we weren't winning, I'd push the defensive line up, but we are winning, so we'll keep it as is. Just flipped it to sideline view, just for the sake of the vid, really. Here's Abiz to Tefun down the left. Winger crosses towards Muhammad, cleared. Comes back to Adiz. So the win in the ball, second ball, which is key. Great ball over the top. Muhammad pings it in. 15 for the season. Come on, Curry. Little action replay for you. Here's Muhammad Adiz. He's the box to box midfielder. Murat sitting in that deep position. Lovely ball over the top. Gets there before the keeps. Blips it in. They are like a different team from last season. Dominating possession, 60%. We just need a bit more cutting edge up front. But I've got high hopes for the season now. As we come to the end of the match, four minutes of injury time. Key highlights for the sake of the video. And that's a wrap. Another win in the bank for the Cara boys. Really good at home. I probably need to scale it back a bit for away games. Just to make sure we should get some points here and there. But that was really good stuff. So that's where we sit as we leave episode three. We're sitting in third. 32 points from our 16 games. It's good, but you've got to remember in this uh, league format, only the top team go automatically up. So, Sakaraspo. Look like they've got it locked down. Won five on the spin. They've only lost one game. They're getting away. So we need to stay between the second and fifth position to get in our playoffs. Get through them playoffs. We're going to a playoff with these guys. Turkish two league white group. So it's white group and red group. Play off against each other and hopefully get promoted. We'll leave it there for this episode. The goal now is at the next episode that we'll either be in them playoffs or right at the tail end of the season. I'm going to go off and now play it off, see how we go. Maybe do a little bit more money ball in January because it's working so far. And we'll see where we go. If you've got any questions about how we scouted on the money ball technique, drop them below. Or if you do the same thing, for me, when you haven't got a big budget, it's the only way to go, I think. It's the only way to go. Don't you want some help in the house? Alright, sweet, I've been thinking about it. Easy!